Right now at 530, questions about the future of the Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority after its executive director abruptly resigned yesterday, something that even surprised the commissioners. So what happens next? Channel 2's Jeff Raval took questions to the Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown today as we hold people in power accountable. With Don Sanders Garrett out as executive director of the Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority, its top attorney, Gillian Brown, will hold it on an interim basis. He held that same temporary position in 2005 before Sanders Garrett was hired. And he told me by phone he doesn't want to hold the position permanently. Sanders Garrett led the BMHA for 12 years. Over that time, the agency had a lot of problems. From crumbling infrastructure to bed bugs to just this winter, some residents being left in the cold for two weeks. Brown tells me Sanders Garrett had been working without a contract, which ended in 2015, and her pay was $120,000 a year. The BMHA hasn't said why she resigned. The Buffalo News says she reached a severance agreement with the Housing Authority. The authority is being audited by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Office of Inspector General, which the BMHA says has been reviewing all of its operations since January. But it has not said that the review has anything to do with Sanders Garrett's resignation. I spoke to Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, who appoints commissioners to the BMHA board. Did your office or city, anyone in City Hall order her to resign? She made the decision to resign. Did your office or anyone in City Hall urge her to resign and then she made the decision? Uh, no. Will you be looking over this process to make sure that they're finding a good group of candidates? I will certainly be paying very close attention to it. The operation of BMHA is very important to our community. And the BMHA will now go through the process of hiring a company to find candidates that will fill the executive director position. Mayor Brown says that this will be a national search and Two on Your Side has filed a freedom of information request to get a copy of Sanders Garrett's severance agreement. Reporting live in the studio tonight, I'm Jeff Perfall, Channel 2 News.